back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Belinda. Beauties, today I'm gonna to be doing a DIY farmhouse centerpiece for your dining table or your dinner table. I recently refinished the tabletop of my farmhouse table and so I wanted to give it a centerpiece that would just go with it. So I gathered some items that I had on hand. Some of the items that I'm going to be using are items that I've DIY'd before. And then some of the items are just items that I had on hand that I have purchased at the Dollar Tree. Everything is from the Dollar Tree except one item and I'll go ahead and show you what that is and that was purchased at Dollar General. But everything else is from the Dollar Tree, mainly just to show you how I put together a farmhouse centerpiece for my table with the items that I had DIY and also some items that I had from the Dollar Tree. So. Before then we get started, I just want to ask if you could please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also if you could click that bell icon, you know, right there in the corner so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. Okay beauties, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off by just showing you the items that I'll be putting together. And then I'll just show you how it looks on my table. Okay, I want to start off by showing you the item that I purchased at Dollar General. And this only cost me $5. This is a tin galvanized tray. I think this really shouts out farmhouse. I went into the Dollar General and I saw that they had an array of items that are farmhouse style. So if you're looking for those type of items, I suggest that you head to Dollar General because they do have a lot of items right now. I recently purchased this tin galvanized tray. So this is what I'm gonna use as my centerpiece. And this itself already screams out farmhouse style, I think. And I'll also be using the salt and pepper shakers that I DIY'd a while back. I purchased these mason jars as a set at the Dollar Tree. I'll go ahead and link that video up above as to how I created these shakers. Dollar Tree carries this dollhouse wooden furniture and that's where I purchased this at. And all I did is just paint it black and white. So I'll be using this as well. I'll also be using this piece of home decor that I also purchased at the Dollar Tree. I had hauled this a while back. So I'll be using this as well. Also be using this milk jug that I also purchased at the Dollar Tree. And this, what I did is I just gave it some paint, I rubbed some off, and then I just put some twine. And that's all that I did to this. This is a very simple DIY. I don't think it really needs much explanation other than some paint and some twine. And there you go, you have this really cute milk jug. So I'll be using this. And just for added decor, I'll be using some of these floral decorations. And it's just these little fur balls. <laughs> and I'll also be using two apples. I went and I chose apples just because they have that beautiful red. And since I'm going to be using black and white, I think that these apples will give it just that splash of color. These are real, so I would have to be changing them out. But if you decide to go with this DIY, you could probably just find some artificial apples and use them if that's what you like, or pears, or just anything that has more of a vibrant color. Since I'm gonna be using the galvanized and the black and white, I think a splash of color will just make it look really pretty and just make them pop. So I'll be using two real apples. I'll also be using this that I also DIY'd a while back. This was my spring and summer centerpiece for my other dining table. And I also have a video and I'll link it up above showing you how I did this ceramic holder with the glass vase on top. 
The only thing different that I did to this is add some twine. And last but not least, I'll be using this as the focal attraction. I find that when you do a centerpiece, if you have something that is the more of the focal point, it just gives it that depth and that character that you're looking for in your centerpiece. So this is my focal point. It is this water can that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Now I have to tell you, this is something that I DIY'd. I will put a link up above here somewhere where I'll show you how I do this kind of technique where it looks like it's a galvanized or tin material. And it's all I did was use paint. This was actually green. Let me see if I can show you the bottom. They have different colors at the Dollar Tree, but I really love the shape. Let me just show you. I didn't want to take out the flowers. I already put them in and I basically just threw them in there. But this is the shape. I love how it has that spout. It's just really pretty. So all I did was just give it this texture look that looks like it's galvanized or tin. That's all that I did. And then I just added some flowers. I added some hydrangeas and some of these spikes, I believe they're called, and some of this fern. And this is all the flowers that I added. I didn't want to do it an overkill with too many flowers. I, I wanted it to be simple, but yet pretty. This is the greenery and the floral that I chose. If you decide to do this, you know, you can use, of course, any any flowers that you want. I really love how white looks. I just think that it looks very clean, very crisp. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put it together. I was talking about the focal point. I put my tin water can here in the corner, just like this. And then I added the home decor picture. Then I added my milk jug. I also cut some of these from the spikes right here and put it in here into my milk jug. I just thought that that would look pretty. It's not an overkill. It's just something that's very dainty, but yet it looks pretty. Now I'll also be putting my candle here in the back. And here I'm just fluffing out my flowers. And I'll be putting my salt and pepper shakers right here. And I went ahead and I placed them on the dollhouse furniture that I painted. And next, I'll be adding now the apples. And then lastly, I'll be adding the floral decoration. And there you go. Here is my farmhouse style centerpiece. Now I'll go ahead and show you how it looks on my newly refinished tabletop. I love how it turned out. I think that those red apples really just gave it that final touch. I think so. And those little mason jars, I absolutely love them. I just wanted to bring you a simple DIY, but also a very farmhouse style for those of you who love that type of decor. Well, beauties, that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this DIY. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also share. I'd really appreciate it. You have yourself a blessed day and I will see you on my next video. So bye-bye and God bless.